Humans consume a sizable quantity of food and drinks on a daily basis. Ironically, we know very little about the process adopted by manufacturers for producing our foodstuff and beverages. Probably we're not much concerned about the process, rather we concentrate on fulfilling our needs and desires. Procedures used by different producers vary in standards and hygiene. Today we'll look into certain truths related to the snacks manufacturing industry, varying from most popular energy drinks to packages of hazelnut. Let's quickly review some crazy foods which you'll definitely not buy again after knowing how they are prepared. Nutella Nutella is one of the most light nut-based spreads in the world. We all know that nuts are good for health, but these should be consumed in moderation. Nutella is a pretty treat for young people, however, it's not healthy as advertised. It's full of sugar, fat, and several other sketchy items. Two tablespoons of Nutella are equivalent to five teaspoons of sugar. In other words, it's about 83% of the sugar intake recommended for women. Additional layers of sugar don't make food healthy. Therefore, you must resort to moderation while enjoying Nutella. Pringles It's well known that potato chips are high in fat and calories, but we can use these occasionally instead of making them a predominant part of the diet. You may be considering Pringles as potato chips, but that's not correct. Pringles are manufactured through a process involving rice, corn, wheat and potato flakes, which are pressed to form a shape similar to dough rolled out into a thin sheet cut into thin strips. Subsequently, these are cooked in hot oil and then blown dry and sprayed with powdered flavor and afterwards filled in cans. Once Pringle manufacturers try to evade paying taxes on the pretext that the Pringle chips have extremely low potato contents that actually are devoid of potatoes. Pringles also contain a carcinogen known as acrylamide which has been found to cause neurological damage in humans. It has also been associated with causing various types of cancer in animals. When carbohydrate-rich foods are cooked at high temperatures, it results in the production of the carcinogen. Spray cheese You won't be able to stop yourself from feeling disgusted once you find out how spray cheese is made. It's not even real cheese. Interestingly, spray cheese contains several ingredients that consumers would expect, like canola oil, whey, and cheese. But the most worrying thing is the presence of chemicals in these products. One of the mystery ingredients of spray cheese is sodium phosphate, which is used to ensure jointness among the different ingredients. Unfortunately, sodium phosphate can make urine acidic and cause kidney disease as well as renal failure. Sodium citrate is added to keep the contents from getting grumpy, however. It's also acidic and results in tooth erosion. The most dubious content of spray cheese is sorbic acid, which keeps cheese mold-free for quite a long time. But if it touches your skin, it can cause a rash and other serious side effects if you suffer from allergies. Andalusian Goat Milk Cheese Most people might not get an opportunity to use Andalusian goat milk cheese, but some people eat it. The cheese-making process involves several steps. The first step is to curdle the milk traditionally, and it's done with a natural product known as rennet. For making rennet, the stomach of a newly born kid or lamb is removed and tied off to keep it from leaking the organ. It's rolled in ashes for coating properly and then hung to dry in a warm, dry place away from direct sunlight. By the time the sack has dried thoroughly, the milk inside it would have been converted into a brown powder. While making cheese, a small quantity of rennet is mixed with water and used to prepare an emulsion which helps the milk turn into curd. The quantity of rennet varies based on the hardness or softness of curds. A tiny quantity of rennet can be used to produce 12 two-pound cheese packets. Instant noodles Instant noodles are not very good for health, though these are immensely popular among the young ones. These were invented by Momofuku Ando of Nissan Foods in Japan in 1958, and they've become the staple food of millions of people all over the world. Since its invention, the production process has hardly gone through any change. All ingredients are mixed, rolled out, then cut into strips which are steamed, dried, fried for dehydration, cooled and packed. The problem lies in the nutritional value, particularly the amount of sodium. As per the recommendation of WHO, a single packet of instant noodles surpasses recommended limits of sodium intake. Another issue relates to MSG, as some people believe that MSG causes serious long-term health problems. Candy Parents usually avoid giving candy to children, whereas children insist to get their favorite items. Excessive eating of candy can have negative effects on our teeth, as high content of sugars and fats found in candy can increase the risk of developing cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and high cholesterol. 
The predominant use of candy can lead to poor nutrition, particularly if you fail to eat enough protein, fruits, and vegetables. Candy is made of sugar, and its use is not much benefit for a healthy body. Breakfast Cereal Most breakfast cereals are prepared from processed grains and then fortified with vitamins and minerals. Although it's claimed that this process enhances the nutritional value of food, but nutritionists are struggling against the addition of sugar to the food. Most of the breakfast cereals form part of this problem, as sugar is generally listed as the second or third ingredient. This sugar content allows blood sugar and insulin levels of cereal users to spike and lose a bit later, which is a day-to-day -day issue. It also has long-term implications for health if these cereals are used regularly on a daily basis. It creates issues like diabetes, heart disease, and maybe even cancer in some cases. Although breakfast cereals are marketed as healthy, these have negative effects. Kopi Luwak Here is something for coffee aficionados. Most people would have no idea about Kopi Luwak. Any individual who is a fan of international caffeine would be aware that Luwak is the most expensive coffee in the world, as it's made from animal poop. It is a tiny furry mammal called a palm civet, native to Southeast Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa. It feeds on insects and small reptiles as well as coffee cherries and mangoes. The animal is also known to eat coffee beans. The civet's digestive enzymes change the structure of the proteins found in the beans. It removes some of the acidity when they're pooped out and ground into the coffee. They're believed to make a fine cup of Kopi Luwak which can cost up to $80. There is a glaring issue with this as tourists flock to Indonesia in greater numbers and resultantly more and more wild civets are being held captive in coffee plantations for getting more coffee poop. Also, the tourists will be paying more money when they see these animals personally. Raw Oysters In some cultures, oysters form part of very popular dishes. FDA is well against the idea of eating uncooked or raw oysters, and they frequently put an official warning about the risk involved in this practice. FDA warns that raw oysters can contain serious contamination, and some oysters can be contaminated with a naturally occurring bacteria called Vibrio vulnificus, which is especially prevalent during summer as the water temperature rises. One just cannot assess contamination found in oysters just by observing or smelling them. Well, if you eat a contaminated oyster, you'll become aware of it within 24 to 48 hours. Its symptoms include vomiting, shock, and skin lesions. FDA has described this bacteria as a potential threat to life. Gelatin Probably a sizable number of people don't know how gelatin is obtained. Gelatin is a tasteless substance produced by boiling the skin cartilage and bones from animals. It's the jelly substance that makes the texture of a lot of delicious candies. Gelatin is produced from the contents that meat industry leaves as a residue, pork skin, horns, and cattle bones. No one would like to eat this stuff as several vegans unwittingly break their diet. Gelatin is being used so excessively that if you don't check ingredients attentively, you'll most probably not notice its presence. Tuna Tuna is among some of the most popular fish. Tuna and other lard fish are known to contain high levels of mercury and that too in its most toxic form. Exposure to high levels of this mercury can result in severe neurological damage. It's specifically harmful to pregnant women and children. Scientific studies show that mercury poisoning can cause several other problems including reproductive health and neurological development. It becomes most threatening for mother and child. Certain nutritionists advise that college students should reduce their exposure to mercury as their nervous systems are still developing. Therefore, you will need to be careful while eating tuna fish. Chewing gum Manufacturing chewing gum involves a lot of stuff. There is one problematic substance known as linalin used for producing chewing gum. Linalin is a waxy secretion which is obtained from sheep's wool. In biological terms, the linalin makes sheep's wool waterproof. In chewing gum, it's part of the contents for the chewy texture. Most probably, when chewing your favorite gum, you're actually eating sheep secretions. It's also interesting that chewing gum has an abundance of other ingredients. Presently, manufacturers are not legally bound to indicate what contents they use for manufacturing chewing gum. Some chewing gum brands use wood resin, polyethene and polyvinyl, acetate, and all synthetic rubber products. Ice cream We all love to eat ice cream. There are a lot of ingredients in addition to what is indicated on the label. Wherever you notice natural or artificial flavors on an ingredient list, you should be able to understand that probably there is some stuff which the manufacturer doesn't want you to know, like propylene glycol, a chemical which is commonly used in cosmetics, pet foods, antifreeze, and in numerous human foods. 
but for ice cream it's usually hidden within the natural flavor label. Manufacturers put this substance into ice cream as it prevents ice crystals and makes ice cream more scoopable. Legally, manufacturers are not required to declare this. Antifreeze has very prominent harmful chemicals including ethylene glycol. Although it's not toxic, it's not good for health. Black Ivory Coffee Humans have developed ways to enhance and improve their most liked foods. Although civet coffee served in Indonesia is considered to be the most costly, Thailand's Golden Triangle is famous for the mass production of opium and elephant dung. From elephant dung we can find the world's most expensive coffee. It's produced by feeding elephants coffee beans and then picking them out of dung. Those who make this coffee say that the coffee comes out better than any other things due to the elephant's herbivorous diet, flowers and leafiness which give the coffee a floral, chocolatey taste. Red Bull We come across a lot of rumors on the internet which cannot all be believed unless we read carefully and verify the facts. For the last several years, some rumors have been circulating on the internet that Red Bull contains bull sperm. These rumors are aggravated by an ingredient called taurine found in the drink. This word is derived from the Latin word taurus, which we know as the bull horoscope. Probably this aspect has made people speculate that bull sperm was part of the ingredients of Red Bull. Well, the rumor started when Longhorn Cattle Company, based in Texas, put forward an entirely baseless claim that it had discovered traces of bull sperm in an energy drink after having performed random tests. A soda and a cattle company belong to entirely different businesses, however, there might have been some rivalry going on between these companies which prompted the Longhorn to make this damaging claim about the energy drink. What are your views about these delicious food items after knowing the facts related to their contents? Share your thoughts with us. Also, do spare just a few moments to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back soon with more amazing stories.